starting at verse 23. But he turned and said unto them, unto Peter, If can you hear me? Okay. Hey, I can hear myself. All right, Matthew chapter 16, starting at verse 23. Uh, this, but he turned and said unto Peter, Get thee behind me, Satan. Thou art an offense unto me, for thou... S- I went too soon. Okay. But thou savorest not the things that be of God, but those that be of men. I guess that was a bonus scripture. I wrote it too soon. Uh, Turning 24. Then said Jesus unto his disciples, If any man come after me, let him deny himself, take up his cross, and follow me. For whosoever shall save his life shall lose it, and whosoever shall lose his life for my sake shall find it. For what is a man profited if he shall gain the whole world and lose his own soul? Or what shall a man give in exchange for his soul? And you be seated. Uh, Jesus asks you to be with us today, Lord. I'm going to get this uh, point across, Lord, and you to speak to us today, Lord, in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. You, Lord, hallelujah, Jesus. All right, and so if the, all the kids could come up. So, all right, let's see here. Now, the trick is, to do it where we can be seen. Yeah. All, right. All right. Now, one in each person, grab one. Grab the sharp one. Oh, oh. who's out? Who's missing one? Kayla, there you are. You're last because you got the special one. Okay? Just because it's special. Now, one at a time, we got to take. The water, can you? Oh, you got two. Here. All right. Okay. Here. Joe, go back out here so we can see. All right. Elijah, see, can you get the water to go from this bowl into there? Yeah, I'm getting a little bit. Try it one more time. Yeah. Okay. All right. So let's see. Who else? Andrew, can you get it in there? Okay. All right. Can you try it? All right. Oh, we got a spoon. Uh-oh. There's holes in it. All right. Here, let's step out of the way so the adults can see, too. Oh, we got creative here. We're getting a little. Yes. All right. Who hadn't tried? Joe? No, no. Have you done tried? Yes. You, you tried, yeah. All right, Joe, can you get it? All right. All right. All right, one more try. All right. Emily, here. Let's step back so everyone else can see. Oh, we're getting a little bit. See? That's where most of these will get a little bit. Caleb, you got the special one. Jo- Andrew went. Caleb, can you do it? Okay. All right. Oh, here's the point. All of these, you don't have to finish. All these tools, because it's going to get in there. They all have a purpose. They're all going to help us cook um, or grill. Because um, apparently when guys cook, it's grilling. So either that or burning water. But, I mean, every one of these have a purpose in there. And what I want to talk about is that, uh, you know, we have our purpose. Uh, and I know it doesn't quite tie into my scripture right now. But, uh, but when we go and we use, you know, because Caleb's, his purpose as spoon, that purpose literally is to scoop up the water and move it. He was fulfilling his purpose uh, where 
and I know I set them up, the, uh, the others weren't fulfilling their purpose with their tools. Um, now, granted, I mean, if, I, if we were all cooking, um, I would make sure it's safe first, but um, we could have, the kids could have, you know, done the, the spatula flipping things, uh, the baster, I'm guessing, uh, putting the, the juice on there, but I should know my Bible better. Um, let's look at 1 Corinthians chapter 12. There it is. Whoa. All right. And start at verse 27. It says, Now we are the body of Christ and the members in particular. So, I mean, we're, we're uh, there's that particular there. I know. <laughs> I'm getting you on that one. But, I mean, we are. We're special. Each one of us is different. Uh, and it says there, now 28, and God has set some of the church, first apostles, secondarily prophets, thirdly teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healings, helps, governments, and diversity, uh, diversity of tongues. You know, are all apostles, are all prophets, are all teachers, are all workers of miracles, have all the gift of healing, do all speak with tongues, do all interpret? Uh, and I'll throw an extra one in there, but covetous earnestly the best gifts, yet I show you a more excellent way. Um, and I found that part as interesting is that it, that uh, verse 31 ties chapter 12 into thir- chapter 13, the, uh, 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 the love chapter as we call it. So, which is one of them where the gifts don't do you, the gifts don't do good without love. Um, but I went through there and you mean I like to look up the uh, stuff in there. But um, has set, uh, in verse 29 it says God has set. Uh, it kind of implies it's his set for his own purpose, for his own what, uh, will. Uh, and not just saying, hey, I put it there, but he put it there with purpose. And he's labeled us all. Some of us are, some of us are apostles. The apostle is just a way of a, 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 an ambassador. Um, as in there, um, our missionaries could also be apostles. Um, and you got the you know, prophets. Um, what I put in there is just really break down. They're speakers for God. They're in there. They're in there speaking God's word in there. And there is that element of uh, where we think prophets as you know telling future events, um, and that does happen too. Um, uh, but I think the more common one is when someone get in there and says, yeah, yeah, I got a word from God. I'm going to speak it. Uh, uh, teachers are, that's the obvious one, you know, they're, in, they're instructing us. And like um, Brother Anthony was saying how that uh, Brother Adams is, uh, you know, it's teaching. Uh, does a lot of the teaching stuff. Uh, and I'm going to skip this one for now. And then goes gifts of healing. Uh, where you know where you we're, uh, we pray over someone, and God, that's, I don't know we get the credit, but it's really God's curing them. Um, and what I'm saying is because we got healing, and what I'm saying is skip I skip miracles. I'll go back to it is because so many times you look at okay you know what you know oh this is a miracle. We look at miracles of just healing. Uh, miracles don't have to be restricted to healing. Uh, we can go in there and. Um, you know the praying. Uh, you know, pray about the weather. Uh, I think what uh, Brother Walla talked about pulling the uh, wires off of the car. Um, I heard one story of a military guy that did that. Actually, removed the entire engine out of the vehicle, uh, and the guy prayed, went in there and drove. I mean, there's the miracles. Uh, but and it's nice is that these all come to. Uh, aid to the kingdom of God. It's going and proclaiming the wonderful power of God. And then when people see how powerful God is, you know, in there too, it's, I guess when people are saying, if, if we really understood that there was a God, and really believed there's a God, we'd have no choice but to follow him. Yeah. Um, now, there are people that believe that there is a God and they'll follow him correctly, but they're at least, they are trying. Uh, and but by 
filling these offices here, or these roles, whatever you want to call them, these parts of the body, uh, in there, it does come in there and it, uh, pro uh, it shows Jesus to the world. Um, as help, says it's a relief for coming to the aid of people. So, you know, that they're going in there. You know, some people are there. They'll go in there and will help out others. Uh, um, government, so, which is leadership, I guess, to me, that was more of the pastor role. Um, not to say the pastor can't do the others, but, um, you know, that we do need to, we still need the church leadership. Um, and diversity of tongues, uh, I personally don't like the way it's worded there. Uh, and I think the next verse that clears it up when he's saying, or two verses down where it's saying, some speak with tongues and do all interpret. And that that diversity of tongues is talking about tongues of interpretation. Um, so, but yeah, and there's all these roles. Uh, and I know to touch on what Sister Rhonda was saying about a pastor being out, we are, uh, uh, you know, I guess essentially he would be the head of the body, I guess. Uh, so, uh, and I know it's hard to imagine a body living without the head, but um, is that when there's a disability, someone has a disability, even if it's temporary, the uh, other members step up the slack. Right. Um, and so, and we, uh, we come together, and that's part of it, staying in unity together as well. Uh, but, which is going off of what I was actually going with. But, uh, but staying in the unity together, we work together, we pull each other up. Um, I know there's a scripture in there saying where iron sharpens iron. Uh, so as one person sharpens the other. You know, and we need to encourage each other. You know, go in there and say, hey, you know, uh, you know, we're encouraging people on, you know, hey, the, you've got this gift or here. Uh, I've seen how, you know, you looking down, you know, can I help you? Can I encourage you? Yeah. And like you were saying, um, calling each other. Uh, yes, Sister Rhonda and Brother Anthony were about to steal my lesson, <laughs> my sermon. So, um, but, you know, we go in here, we start looking at this is, we need to question ourselves is, is, what is my role? You know, what is what part of the body of the church am I? You know, what's my role in there? And not to say that this you got to fit in one of the categories either. Um, but you know, we go in there, uh, and I'm going to skip one. Go to Jeremiah 29:11, uh, Danita's favorite verse. Uh, you know, it says, "For I know the plans I have towards you." Uh, plans to um, there it is for I know the thoughts I have towards you uh, that I think towards you say it's the Lord thoughts of peace and not of evil to give you an expected end God has a plan for our lives we were born with a purpose you know that's the other one is we're not a mistake um, we may be unplanned by our parents but we're not a mistake uh, and you know God has a use uh, and the other side too is I have seen people that have the most checkered and colored and horrible past step up and be the most the greatest people yeah. um, like a brother Wallet alluded to in the uh, balance uh, of God um, God can go work on both sides but you know where God takes the, the rejects of society and turns them into pillars of the church yeah. uh, and I mean, there's still a change. I'm not saying he's like, oh, you're still a reject, you know, society-wise. We're not changing people. You know, he's not saying you don't change, but that we are growing. Um, and then uh, Ephesians 2 and 10. Uh, um, go in there and... Um, For we are all his workmanship, created in Christ Jesus unto good works, which God hath before ordained that we should walk in them. Uh, and that's what I'm saying. It's that he, we, we're called. That's one of them. Is we're called into good works, um, and I know works works won't save us. Uh, there's nothing we can do uh, that will save us. We're in there, and that's one of where Jesus came down and He bridged that gap for us. Uh, he gave the way. But I mean, we're called to do good works. Is that? And like I'm saying, you believe in God, it makes it changes your life. 
uh, and we are supposed to actually, you know, we get up and go, which, you know, uh, I'm skipping a lot. Um, Romans 8.29. Uh, but we go in there and uh, we're growing in there and we're learning. Uh, we're doing the good stuff. In Romans 8.29. For whom he did uh, foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his son that we might be the firstborn among many, many brethren. Uh, we're supposed to to me that scripture is saying we're supposed to be uh, strive to be like Jesus uh, and it's uh, um, it's talking about you know we're to uh, see what the wording on there was um, to uh, be conformed to his image is that that conforming is not to say I'm going to change immediately it's a growth uh, in there um, but you know, as our thoughts, as our actions, our reactions, our priorities, uh, and and thoughts. I don't know. Yeah, the actions, reactions, priorities, and thoughts become more like Jesus. Uh, and it's a gradual change. It's not something you're going to change overnight. Um, I think when we first come to God, there is big changes we make. Yeah. But then it's always continual growing. Uh, because I think we all be honest enough to say, we are not in the image of God right now. I don't think any of us would put ourselves to say our actions, our thoughts, and um, uh, priorities are on the same level of Jesus, that we do uh, fall short. Uh, and that's where God's grace is there for us. In that, But we do fall short, but we're going to still keep growing, keep striving. You know, and I found one in Second Peter chapter 1. Um, in there it's talking about the growth. In there, and it's in there somewhere. Second, uh, Second Peter one, and verse five. Uh, oh, and, and besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to your virtue knowledge, and to your knowledge temperance, and to your temperance patience, and to your patience godliness, and to godliness brotherly kindness, and to brotherly kindness charity. Uh, for if these things, if these things be in you, and abound, they may be, they make you that ye shall be neither, neither be barren nor unfruitful in the knowledge of your Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, so we all, I mean, we're all, we're all here at church, so we all got our faith. But let's add uh, to the faith virtue, uh, goodness and valor. Uh, and the thing is that each one, and I think I've said this before, but each thing adds on. It's like uh, stairs, uh, like Legos, and that you're building on the other. Uh, so I'm thinking kid stuff today, ain't I? So, uh, uh, so we get that goodness. We're trying to be good. We're trying to, you know, in there, and then we add. We start adding in the knowledge, uh, and it's a not knowledge for just the sake of knowing stuff. It's a knowledge, you know, saying I'm going to apply it and. To put in there to appreciate the truth, uh, and then temperance. We all know it's self-control, uh, but and that's the thing is because that like the knowledge can get us a big head, and we you know we need to kind of temper that back. Uh, you know, so what we were watching that uh, the fish thing uh, yesterday, um, some fish under the sea going to school and basically veggie tails under the sea. Um, so, but it was, uh, they were talking about that where uh, the kids like, oh, or the fish, oh yeah, I know, I know the Bible, I've been going to church all my life, I know this. Huh? Uh, don't sound quite right, but, and maybe there's more out there. Oh, who knows? <laughs> you know, he's talking about, I'm going to church all my life, I know all this. Now, he was kind of brought down on his pride in that they had the quiz and he refused to study because he knew everything and then he was embarrassed well that and he cheated so um, he realized he was going to get beat and he cheated and got the quiz uh, but he didn't think it through and the teacher he took the quiz and didn't think to put it back so the teacher had to write a new quiz 
So all of his answers were wrong anyhow. Uh, embarrassingly wrong. Oh, but then after we get, uh, as we get in our self-control, then we start getting patience. And it's not just sitting... Um, really? He knows better. Um, uh, it's, uh, it's not just sitting around doing nothing. It's uh, still enduring. I'm still going through. I'm still pushing. Okay. I don't know. Um, uh, and then that patience works into uh, godliness or godlikeness. Uh, and family, brotherly kindness. We're offering that kindness to you know those that in there. And the scripture says, you know, you are to know you're my disciples if you have a love one toward another. Oh, but then it moves into a, into charity, or in the Greek puts it agape, and that 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 ultimate love, that's that sacrificial love. Uh, and because it's not re- not just toward the people in the church now, it's toward the whole world. But it's that growth. Oh, and apparently something's important, but um, it's nice because I'm at the end anyhow. Uh, there was that old uh, that campaign of what would Jesus do? Uh, but it's not, to me, it's not so much of uh, how would Jesus respond, but what would Jesus accomplish? Uh, so, I mean, yeah, I know they pushed it. The big push there was, uh, for them was, you know, how would basically, how would Jesus respond to a situation? But, you know, Jesus was here today. What would he be doing? Good night. See, I would get it. Oh, there's a, there's a small water leak and people are throwing a fit. Uh, maybe it got worse. Um, but, so, but, yeah, it gets into uh, what, would, what would Jesus accomplish if he was here? You know, would he be out there, you know, ministering? And I think he would be, but out there ministering to the widows and stuff. Uh, you know, like Sister Rhonda said and uh, Brother Anthony said today, of uh, would he be give, you know he'd be given to make sure that the church uh, had the finances to stay open. Uh, but you know he'd be in there, like uh, Brother Manuel said before, going out there and reaching the world, uh, you know, telling people about Jesus or himself, I guess. Um, but and that uh, that response in there. So what I want to leave you guys with is, I guess is. When we think about our lives in there, what our purpose is for our life, uh, and I guess to tie it back in, is we lose our life, lose our priorities uh, for the sake of Jesus and give you know, our priorities, saying, you know what, I, I want to be the mayor of uh, Electra. I put that aside to go focus on what Jesus is telling me to do. Uh, and I'm putting away some of my, even those distractions, those things that aren't a big deal, but they're still distracting me from doing what I need to be doing. Am I setting those aside? When I do that, I will find my life, and my purpose that Jesus has created for me. So, I believe with that is, uh, let's find our lives uh, in G- uh, Let's find our life that Jesus has for us by losing the life that we have for us. I guess I better start answering phone calls. Yes. Before, before we leave, everybody will stay for a second. Brother Adam, he's got home. Okay. We'd like you to assume the next. Oh, okay. So he can say something to the church. Okay. Brother Mark has a fancy Bible. good day to be here. We all serve a purpose. How many of us have been guilty of trying to move stuff to the Holy Spoon? How many of us have been trying to use the spatula? You know, we uh, at, at work, we always, in our, part of our safety program says, use the correct tool for the job. The other day, we were needing a hammer, and that pair of channel locks was closer than the hammer was. 